seater, the 410 out of the lead to. I'm going to be unhooking the air seater and I'm going to go pick up our disc. This field is probably one of our furthest fields away from anything. But it's all corn stalks and we're going to go work it down. So I'm going to unhook the air drill here. I haven't ran the 8410 since spring really. Or the last time I guess it ran was uh, when I just pulled it out to wash it. but. Everything's still hooked up on the air seater. It washed up really good last summer and uh, it's been sitting here since. So, well, I got it all unhooked now, but before I hit the road, I want to top off my fuel. I got three quarter, but it's a bit of a road trip and then I got to drive back too so I can go home. lots of wires that cross the road and some of them hang pretty low so I gotta be a little careful of how I drive under them. come back with our field cultivator. The farm I'm on now, we really don't like to bring our field cultivator out here. It's a hard field to get to, but there's a lot more traffic and stuff, and it's uh, just a big machine to move over here. That, and running the chisel plow here, uh, uh, there is a couple pipelines, a couple gas lines running through the field, and those pipelines aren't super deep, I believe, is what I was told. So we don't really care to bring deep tillage tools in this field also. Well, I just finished up this little square behind me. Uh, this field isn't perfectly square. 
right past this tree I got these long rows that go along the highway here so I'm gonna run these going this way instead of this way which I have been running and then there's this there's this deep ditch here that I can't drive through so all the rest of the rows on this farm are gonna be running this way well kind of at an angle so more like this or like this but got all these corn stalks back here to do too so last fall it was really wet and a lot of the corn stalks that we left out in the field never got work we didn't do a lot of fall tillage uh, with the chisel plow or the disc behind me here and uh, then we ended up having a wet spring so even with the wet spring even on the dry sunny days we had because we didn't work up those corn stalks the fields wouldn't dry out a lot of like stalks and leaves and crap just laying on top they kind of act as like a wet blanket and so even if you have a nice warm breezy sunny day because we didn't do any fall tillage the fall prior uh, we had all this all these corn stalks and trash laying out in the field and nothing was drying out so we typically pull this disc with actually our challenger the 765 with the tracks uh, at the moment dad is actually running that with the chisel plow as we speak so that's a little bit busy we have pulled the disc with the 8410 many times before but it does know it's back there where the challenger it doesn't even know it's back there and you can go as fast as you want where this i'm going a little bit slower than i'd like right now i'm doing about 5.3 which is still pretty fast but with this this it works a little bit better if you're doing about six and a half seven miles an hour uh, it just seems like it throws the dirt and grinds stuff up just a little bit better they make high speed discs tillage tools whatever you want to call them that you can run about 10 miles an hour now and uh some of the newer stuff but i couldn't even imagine doing 10 miles an hour in this field there's so many cross furrows like i'd be bouncing my head off the ceiling pretty uh pretty bad Good time today. 
but I have a feeling once I get done here and I gotta hit the road back, it's gonna be about rush hour, which kind of stinks. That's what it is. I've moved in rush hour traffic with this before, and it's not too bad. There's only like a couple spots where uh, traffic gets really busy. It's after I get the long rows done in this field, there's another small field uh, across the street I gotta do, and then I'll be out of here. I was really hoping that I uh, was able to fly the drone today. That kind of bumps me out. It's kind of hard for me to get video footage. Unless I'm just sitting in here taking video. I tried to set my phone up hanging from a tree so I'll take a quick video, but other than that, I gotta keep stopping if I wanted to do that. It's a pain in the butt. The drone, I usually just set it up on top of the roof. I take off, I jump back in, I start driving, and then uh, turn my auto, auto steer on, and then I can fly the drone. So if I set a camera up on a tripod or in a tree, then I can only go so far and then I'm kind of out of the shot right away. For the drone, I can just keep following along, so, oh well. Well, just when I thought I was going to have somewhat of an easy day, I just got done with the bank field and I was going to fold up the disc, go down the road, uh, go to the other field across the street. The disc is not lifting up and I got oil on the inside of my dual here. Well, just loading up the truck. Got the hose last night. So we're gonna go put that on the 8410 this morning and I'm gonna go finish up that field and then I'll uh, move on to the next one. Just got the 8410 back together. I got that hose on. Uh, took a little bit of patience and time. It's kind of a pain in the butt, but ready to roll here hopefully i can uh finish this farm and get the heck out of here well i'm on the last pass here over in this little field got the big field done felt pretty good actually because uh the morning rush is gone but the lunch rush isn't here yet so moving the machine down the road i shouldn't have to deal with a lot of traffic i'll be headed to the next field i also grabbed the controller for the drone today so I'll get that up in the air at the next field.
he's done. I think that's going to do it for this video. So uh, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.